Oh, fuck. I stress this to you guys all the time. I say, hey, it's not necessarily about what the current rent is or what the current tenant is doing or what the current landlord is getting. You guys have to focus on the market. Section 8 gives vouchers to tenants based upon uh, their family size, right? And the, the larger the family, the more bedrooms they get, the more bedrooms, the higher Section 8 pays. Eventually, you'll have the opportunity uh, to renovate that unit and get it ready for a new tenant, in which case you'll put in a Section 8 tenant, but you shouldn't be in a hurry uh, to stop money coming in just so you could spend another 10, 15K getting it Section 8 ready, right? So don't go too crazy. Don't go all the way to 1350, because in my opinion, that'll create an artificial turnover. Welcome to the Investing Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch to you, giving it to you straight. We're going to be talking about Section 8 investing because I love Section 8 investing. And this is a good example of something I want to bring to you guys' attention. 3402 Meyer, right? It's a house in Cleveland. Now, if you look at the market rent that we have on the chart for you, thirteen fifty, right? And the reason that is so high, so astronomically large, is because this particular house is not a three one; it is actually a four one. And when you guys are out there looking at properties to buy. I stress this to you guys all the time. I say, hey, it's not necessarily about what the current rent is or what the current tenant is doing or what the current landlord is getting. You guys have to focus on the market, right? The market rent, the market performance. What is likely and logical to happen to you going forward when you have this property under your own management, under Holton Wise's management, something of that nature, right? Even a different property manager, right? The market market is what we're buying. You're buying a property, not a particular tenant. And it goes both ways, right? Sometimes sellers will stick tenants in properties uh, for inflated rents. Uh, and these will be tenants that like don't qualify, right? That's how they got the inflated rents, and you're likely to end up with a, a problem tenant down the road, right? So it can be higher, and oftentimes it's lower too, right? Like this one, 850, right? So you don't need to think about this as an $850 rental. You need to really think about this as a $1,350 rental. Now, here's the deal. It's catch-22. If we're already getting $1,350, I wouldn't be selling it to you for $64.9, right? So there's going to be some meat on the bone that you're going to get, but that's that's because the rent is going to be lower for quite a while until you eventually increase it. And the reason you can get it so high is because it's a four bed, one bath instead of a three bed, one bath, right? Section eight, folks, section eight gives vouchers to tenants based upon uh, their family size, right? And the, the larger the family, the more bedrooms they get, the more bedrooms, the higher section eight pays, right? So if you're looking at these properties, maybe you saw... A very similar property that's a 3-1 where the current tenant was a cash paying tenant, they're paying 9, and then you see this one, 4-1, tenant's paying 850. You might think the $900 one's going to get more rent going forward, but in reality, that's not how it's going to work. The current owner, the current seller, isn't renting it to a Section 8 tenant with a four-bedroom voucher, so they're not getting as much money as they possibly could, but you have to understand going forward, there's a lot of benefit to buying these homes with larger bedroom counts, right? Don't limit yourself to just your two ones and your three ones, right? Once you start getting into four, five, six bedroom homes, the section eight money can get huge. Now, as far as how you go from 850 to 1350, right? I suggest slowly increasing this particular tenant's rent because uh, you don't want to push this tenant out the door because they are currently paying rent and you want to continue to collect that money. Eventually, you'll have the opportunity uh, to rent Renovate that unit and get it ready for a new tenant, in which case you'll put in a Section 8 tenant, but you shouldn't be in a hurry uh, to stop money coming in just so you could spend another 10, 15K getting it Section 8 ready, right? So don't go too crazy. Don't go all the way to 1350 because in my opinion, that'll create an artificial turnover. I mean, you can if you want. It's a month-to-month -month tenancy. All you got to do is give them a 30-day notice. There is no other law in Ohio and in Cleveland that will make you do anything other than that, but I just think it's bad business. I think you want to keep the money coming in as much as you possibly can. Never be in a hurry to spend all your money when you do have a cash flowing property. And then know down the road that cash flow is going to be getting even bigger. 
Uh, one other thing you need to think about for down the road too, folks, is this property has not been lead certified, so you're going to need to get it lead certified. If you do not understand how that process works, I have a video, a whole tutorial on the Cleveland lead certification process. It's in the notes uh, in and around this video somewhere, right? Like above it, below it. I don't know if you're on TikTok or uh, YouTube or Instagram, however you're watching Holton Wise TV, you know, the link will be in a different location, but you're going to want to check that particular link out so you know how that works. And then if you want to submit an offer, uh, if it's a financed offer, send it to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Include your pre-approval letter to that lender. If you don't have your own lenders, you need lenders, let us know. We'll hook you up with our list. And if it's a cash offer, same thing, just send it to sales at HoltonWise.com, but include your proof of funds. Let's go. Let's Let's make some Section 8 coin together. Oh, fuck. But whatever it if, was, it was sweet. If not, just try to train her out and then... Dude! I don't know the layout, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just a bunch of room. Fire extinguisher. Where? On the wall. Oh, shit. Yeah, you don't see that. You don't see that every day. Upgraded. Electricals. Some shit shoved in the windows. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.